So, all our snorkeling and walking and mooching around excursions have made us hungry. So we're now in Melilla, we're out of the tourist pit, we're in a town, and look, we've parked up right by a pastizzeria. So we're gonna go get pastizzi for lunch, and then explore Melilla, because we've never been here. You are a joker. I'm better than a joker. I fancied a holiday. I'm thinking Malta. This is a cheese and bolognese arancini. It's uh, a deep fried rice thing. They're nice, they're good. Al's tucking into a rib and mango chutney pie. It's all right. It's all right. And we're sitting at the bottom of a a slope in Melia. These lovely steps. So we're sitting here chilling out with a drink. I've got, I've got Cisk XL and I thought, oh, that looks like um, non alcoholic or low alcohol or something, but no, 4.2%, same as normal. Oh, look, I've just seen it's really small words that they're hidden from the eyes of old people like me. This is low carb. Low carb lager. I don't know what low carb lager is, but it tastes. I don't know why they call it XL either. It tastes like it's the um, stuff they can when they're rinsing the pipes out, you know, diluted. And it's not as good as a normal cisk, sorry. So here we are in Malia. There's lots of uh, apartments and so on there. We come down this little street. There's lots of restaurants along here. And um, come around here, this nice open area. I bet this is lovely in the summer. And look, there's a, there's a nice cathedral. We're going to wander up and have a look at that now. There we go. Important things down to the right public toilets. Up to the left, parish church and World War II shelters steps. So, start with the toilets and then we go have a look. So, go up the steps to the World War II shelters. Look at that, lovely. Lovely. Feed the cat. Chopping into bits. Air raid shelter. Dun, dun, dun. So that was absolutely fantastic. If you if you're looking for something to do that's interesting, this lovely gentleman. Um, he showed us around the first part of it. It's him in the afternoon. It's dad in the morning. It's absolutely brilliant. It's like two euros forty. It's nothing. And they're just that are massive. Most extensive underground shelters that are open to the public in the whole of Malta, I believe. Really, really good. Lots of um, interesting stuff. And it's just, just quite a fantastic thing to walk through. And it's nice and cool as well. So if you're here in the summer, even better. wondered where Al had gone. She'd gone through here. So, here we go. Have a look here. Beautiful little courtyard here. And now a look over Melia. Loads of graffiti in here. Maltese crosses. Look at the quality of his carving. Look. 79, presumably 1979. Carmelo. 1866. 1868. Giovanni Pacci. 1868. 1909. 
1983. Pfft. A newcomer. 2013, 2015. This is old stuff. 1880. Look at this. Look at this old script. De Bono, the name of the chap we've just been speaking to. How lovely. Nineteen twenty one. This graffiti is fantastic and historic. Josie Kamiyama six O O one six. RAMC Royal Army Medical Corps. We've got date here of 24th May 1942. Who's who? I don't know. Up on the promontory here is Selman Palace. This was built by the Knights of St John in 1783. But it was only really a summer residence and a meeting place for hunting. Closed up by look of it. Used to be a hotel behind, open by uh, or operated by Air Malta, but that's long since closed. It's a beautiful little building. It's a good place for playing playing with a ball as well. It's certainly a better place than underneath my bloody bedroom window at 7:10 every morning. Not Maltese bastards. Just on the side here, just down from Solomon Palace, or outside the gate, on a bomb shelter. Did you say there's another entrance here? Or a different, or a different bomb shelter. Look at that. So you've got like an entrance and an exit. 